What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy channel. I'm Lloyd and today we're gonna to be talking about how to turn a woman on with just your words. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but women and men get turned on by slightly different things. I'd say men are a little bit more visual for sure. Um, you can get turned on just by looking at a hot girl or looking at porn or whatever it is. Women tend to like the story a little bit more. So they'll go for more like erotic novels. They kind of like the written word a lot better. They like to let things up to the imagination. So I would say men are a little bit more explicit than women and women like subtleties. They like innuendos. They like uh, to let their imagination run wild. And you can trigger those sorts of things with your words. So in this, you're gonna be able to be using your words to seduce women. So the first thing that I'm going to give you in this video is you need to speak with confidence. Assume the attraction, okay? Whatever you're saying, go in 100%. Not 98, not 99, 100%. It doesn't matter the topic of conversation, but if you're unsure about what you're saying, if you're not confident in, the, in whatever it is you're talking about, I mean, it could be you could be talking about the, the sewage system or, or whatever it is, but if you speak with 100% confidence, you speak with 100% security in what you're saying, it's gonna be a lot better than if you come in with hesitating, if you, if you sound unsure, if you're stumbling over your words, Words, which you know if you're stumbling over your words but you're still confident I guess you could pull that off but it's a lot harder to do that okay so I would make sure that you're whatever you're saying just go in hundred percent assume the attraction and look you're not gonna get every girl but what you can do is you can be hundred percent sure about what you're saying rather than whether the girl's gonna like it or not and if she doesn't like it who cares you move on to the next one but be hundred percent sure in what you're talking about because if you're not I can assure you there's a hundred percent chance she's not gonna be into it step two is to show emotion about the stuff that you're speaking about. There's a big rule in pickup and dating and that's whatever you feel, she feels. If you feel unsure about what you're saying, she's gonna feel unsure about what you're saying. The same thing too, the way women get turned on is by their emotions. They wanna feel, they, the content of the conversation has to be an emotional trigger for her. If she doesn't feel anything with the conversation, then you're gonna get the classic, oh hi, it was nice talking to you, I'll see you later. Those kinds of conversations didn't trigger her emotions at all. And so what she's looking for is she's looking for a guy that can do that to her. If you speak with emotion, you're going to trigger those emotions for her. Whatever story you're saying, don't say it with a face that's like totally bland, that's just like t telling you like this, or and then we went to the market, then we went to the park, and then afterwards we got hot dogs. Like it's a lame ass story, okay? Talk about the emotions that you went through in that story. What was happening when you were going through the market, okay? When you, when you talk about the emotions, any good storyteller knows that in order for the story to be exciting, they have have to get an emotional reaction from their audience and the way that they do that is they show the emotions within themselves so practice this okay I don't know if you can tell but when I'm speaking on these videos I speak with a lot of passion and emotion behind it because I want you to feel what I'm feeling how important I think this is how groundbreaking this is gonna be for your life I convey this with the way that I'm speaking so what you guys need to start doing is practicing this if you feel like you're lacking in this area I would take about you know any subject that you're interested in and be able to talk about it for a minute. Now, when you're talking about this, I want you to convey the emotions that you feel. How excited are you when you're talking about the subject? Why are you interested in this subject? Talk about the emotional element to it. It doesn't matter what it is. Remember, women don't care about like the facts and the figures of this, but they care about the emotions and how it makes you feel and how it's gonna make them feel too, more importantly. So practice this. You're gonna get better at it as time goes on. It's an exercise that I give a lot of my students, um, and I think that one that's gonna help you as well. Number three is, go Going back to the emotional part, playfully spike her emotions. Use teasing, use uh, push-pull, use those kinds of um, playful dialogue to get an emotional reaction from her. So I, I see a lot of guys, they have like normal conversations and you can show emotion when you're talking, but what you can also do is you can also like playfully tease her or have that, you know, kind of man to woman dynamic when you're talking. So I think teasing is a great way to have the man to woman dynamic. And it's basically like whatever questions she asks, you kind of turn it into something fun, okay? This is gonna give her positive emotions too. So what I'm recommending is giving her positive emotional spikes coupled with negative emotional spikes. And then on top of that, you kind of have this like baseline thing. This is kind of what um, they talk about in RSD. I talked about this for years actually, um, which is spiking a girl's emotions. So the way that you do this is rather than, if you guys have an average conversation with a girl, she's probably gonna ask you what you do. So a lot of people will answer with the typical, oh, I'm a software engineer or something like that. 
And that's cool, but maybe a more playful way of saying that would be I organize underground midget boxing tournaments. Don't worry, don't worry. We have safety regulations and everything. It's all good. <laughs> so obviously this is a joke. And when she hears this, this is going to kind of give her an emotional reaction to it. And she's going to be like, that's, that's not the typical thing most people would say. So a lot of times you can kind of play around with this and spike her emotions by giving her like rid saying ridiculous things, silly things, funny things, but also you need to bring it back down to a reasonable level and then actually answer her question. So you can carry on the joke w for a while, um, but when it comes time where they start like looking around or whatever, or they start, you, you can tell that it's, it's getting too much. They just say, no, I'm actually a software engineer. Like I work for this company. What do you do? So what that's going to do is it's going to show her, uh, it's, it's going to take her through a range of emotions. She's going to feel the positive sides of it, and it's going to feel the negative sides of it. Negative sides is actually, um, I, didn't, I didn't talk about this, but it's pr more along the lines of like breaking rapport. If you are in a situation where you're going to say something that she might not necessarily like, you know, um, what's, a good, what's a good line to say? Sometimes I'll say something like, oh, that's kind of why you have to be all in control, don't you? You know, just some, some like weird comment that's that's gonna get an emotional reaction from her. It might fuck with her a little bit too. So you know, obviously a girl has to have a pretty good sense of humor about that sort of stuff. Um, but it's better than saying just the average boring thing because remember, a woman might fuck the guy that she hates. She might fuck the guy that she loves, but she's definitely not fucking the guy that she's indifferent to. So it's better to get. I think. I'm not saying go to the words towards the negative and get her to hate you, <laughs> but for a lot of you guys out there, um, you need to get some sort of reaction from the woman that you're talking about. Otherwise, you're never gonna, you're never, she's never gonna experience emotions, and if she never experiences emotions, she's never gonna be turned on by you. So vary it up. Give her some positive emotional spikes, break rapport a little bit, but also give that baseline thing because if you get, if you're too far into these emotional spikes, they're gonna be like, oh, that was kind of cool and fun and crazy, but they're just gonna wander off because they think you're a crazy person and you're not relatable. You have to couple this with being relatable as well. So all of these things are designed to trigger her emotions, but at the same time, you have to be a relatable person because she's not going to want to sleep with a guy that she thinks is, okay, this guy's fun and he's giving me like all these good uh, reactions. Um, but I, you know, I, I can't relate to him. Step four is to have a dominant like leadership frame. I think that uh, women, well, when it comes to life and in everyday um, activities, they are very, very capable of being in leadership positions. However, when it comes to the bedroom, usually the man is the more dominant figure. And I would say that's probably in the relationship as well. Okay, so when you're starting out, if you're in a conversation where she, you feel like the woman's dictating the pace, she's dictating the topics, and she's dictating where it's going, then you're probably in a position where she's not going to feel that turned on by you. I think you need to have a little bit more of a male-female dynamic, and the way you get that is, like I said before, you know, playfully teasing, spiking her emotions. Another thing, too, is to accuse her of having a dirty mind or wanting to take you out. Like, if she... If she buys you a drink or something like that, you could say, oh, you bought me a drink? That's kind of you. It's going to take a little more than this to get in my pants, though. <laughs> or you could say, uh, are you hitting on me right now? Or something like that. You know, just play playfully assume that she's the one who's pursuing you. Um, th that's a kind of a good dominant frame to have as well. Um, also, too, ordering girls around. Okay, you have to do this right, obviously. But just like little things like, hey, can you hold this? Or uh, put this on for a second. Let's take a picture, like just kind of ordering and dictating things. Um, that kind of stuff shows you you're the one who's kind of like leading the interaction. Okay. Um, and she wants a guy to lead the interaction. She doesn't want a guy who she can like kind of walk all over. Now, some women, uh, they like to talk a lot. They kind of like to be a little bit more of the alpha one. Let her have her moments. But then you pick and choose the specific times to have that dominant frame. Maybe it's that one order, or let's get out of here, or let's go over here. You know, moving them around too, I think, is a big thing as well. Um, and that's done with your words. Five, the last thing is to make sure that you yourself are turned on as well. A lot of you guys, when you're talking to a girl that you actually like, you're too busy being in your own head and you're not thinking about how attractive this person is, how, you know, the way that she's saying things. If you 
are present to the moment, I can almost guarantee you, if you're talking to a girl that you're attracted to, you're going to feel something down there. Okay? It, it should feel arousing. You should feel turned on. But the problem is a lot of you guys are so scared when you're talking to the person. You're like, does this girl like me? Am I saying the right thing? You know, Is this going to be bad later on? Am I even going to be able to perform? Like A lot of you guys have those problems. So what I recommend that you do is uh, try not jerking off or try doing the nofap thing for a little bit. Um, you don't have to completely quit, um, but cut down on that sort of stuff and make sure that you are uh, that you have a lot of testosterone in your system um, when you're talking to people. If you have a lot of sexual shame around yourself, then that might be something you need to work on. Um, I myself, you know, I've been in, I've been in situations where I've had my testosterone was real low, and I could kind of feel how it was when I was talking to the girl. So just be aware of that. Now I've never done no fab longer than like three months. Um, but uh, I think doing it, you can definitely do it too much and it will affect your performance um, when you're speaking with somebody because if you're not turned on, then there's a good chance that they're not gonna be turned on either. But if you're really turned on, like you love the way she's talking, you like her, then there's a really good chance that she's gonna be feeling what you feel as well. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you've made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Hey, if you guys have any questions, any thoughts about this sort of stuff, um, put them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear them. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.